My name is Margaret Ann Windsor. I was kidnapped in 1941 and brought to Moulton, Alabama. Dropped off in a, what amounts to a pigsty. A horrible nightmare of a life. My ID was stolen. I was given the name of a dead twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married a Childers. I have to still use that dead person's name. The twin, there were twins, Peggy and Carl, born out of wedlock, and their mother, Lina Dempsey, killed them, and the family covered it up. I put all this in the photos of the family and all of this on former YouTubes and uh, Facebook and Instagram. Now then, uh, I wanted to put this up because I find myself at 76 years old, I'm allergic to chemicals. Uh, my immune system attacks itself, and that's the only, that's the illness I have, okay? There's no cure for it. If I'm around toxic fumes, I'll say it again, my immune system attacks itself. Mass inflammation, and over the years, if you're subjected to it, it can take out your kidneys, your lungs, and um, all the rest of your body, let me put it that way. I can't get it all on the tape, so I'm just going to tell you that today I'm sitting here sick as heck. My veins are broken, legs, uh, knots in them, and um, you try to say anything to the... Uh, this is pre-done. Uh, law enforcement is involved in it. I've put one of the names up. I suppose they gave me their little sticker that goes on... Um, a male has got their address. He's a retired Virginia State Trooper Carl Barton. Linda's his wife, and in 09, they brought me off of Roanoke Mountain, where I was legally camped, been run here and there and back and forth, and called every name in the book, every law broken by other people. I haven't broken the law. If I broke the law, you can blame God for it because I was born in this country and part of my family kidnapped me in the New World Order that's in place now, which Hillary Clinton, Elizabeth Mountbatten, who is illegal, are members, along with uh, the the people who control the banking now, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Bilderbergers, and they control the media. They're the ones that helped kidnap me and the Kennedys. He was ambassador then, and Roosevelt appointed him to ambassador to England. So uh, you can ask yourself about JFK and the cover-up at Warren House, and I've covered that in my former ones uh, videos. I've also mentioned living on the Appalachian Trail, which is what I'm going to get into now, because I can't go back, back there, or I would try. Uh, to have a place to go. That's why I went there. I was run with chemicals, so sick I couldn't stand it. And uh, I'll go back to Carl Barton. When they dropped me off at Corporate Suites in uh, off Starkey Road, she said to me they paid the security deposit, and I paid everything after them for 17 months. I lived in hell with people, and everybody has known about this, okay? The law enforcement that's doing it gets stuff on uh, others. Everybody has something to hide. Uh, they're compromised. They don't have to be. They don't have a right to do this to me. But anyway, they did, and they dropped me off there, Carl Barton, gave me their uh, sticker with their address on it in Galax, retired state trooper, and said, this is how we run you with chemicals. Well, I'm allergic to them, and I want to add this. The other way is if I attempt to say anything uh, that what they're doing, they're just uh, the owners here of the motels or the HUD. I just recently, low income that I was allowed to get into briefly, the same thing happened, made me break a lease and look bad. So now I just came back from Scott Hill, and I've put it up, and if anybody's followed it, it shocked me because they ended up doing the right thing about it and saying it. So uh, to a degree, of course, I had photos of everything out there, but that was set up and um, it worked out. But I'm still back at this place. It's owned by the Patels, Shaw's, 
who you've got all the good Latin. I've put this up too, and where they know about my kidnapping. Me, I've been in their office and was told that if uh, Good Lad helped me, that he would be living out in the woods in the forest too. Uh, he's now not just uh, he's House of Representatives from here. He's over the intelligence, and this is going to go off before I can get this up. And I started another tape, and I, I doubt that anybody's even uh, very much reading it. Uh, but anyway, they're considered these, they've gotten very wealthy. This is where I'm at living in here, and I've got fumes that came out at, a week ago that are torn my legs up like knots and blood clots. I can't even walk. At least I could walk when I came in here. Um, but anyway, John Edwards is a Virginia State trooper, and he knows, uh, I'm sorry, Virginia State senator, knows very well. Uh, who I am. I've been in his office. He's next door or was to Goodlatte. Goodlatte's head of the intelligence or was in a very important uh, committees. And here I sit. I could be handcuffed, call nuts, uh, every law in the book broken. And these people are considered uh, entrepreneurs and made a lot of money. And I'm going to go on to, if I try to leave, it's the same thing. I'm running back here using the same method. But here you've got ex-governors who are now senators from uh, Virginia. And, yes, they do know about me. Senator Tim McCain, Mark Warner. Uh, I could go on and on. Now then, they've got uh, uh, McDonald is charged with something by the FBI. So there you go. Um, now, this is what I wanted to get to. Everywhere I go, I'm run by chemicals, and if I say anything, you're crazy, okay? That's thrown at me. I tried to call here because i got to leave here Monday or I'd be dead. That's when my rent's up. So this was May the 14th, 14, and this is Affordable Corporate Suites. I just called. I'm shut down. I can't get a place even with, I guess, with that they've used chemicals on me. This man's Jewish. He owns a whole bunch of these. And uh, I want to say this, at Edinburgh Village uh, Retirement HUD in 06, I went there, and I was told by one of the residents that lived across the hall from me, um, Carol Rogers Simon, her ex-husband was a psychiatrist in Seattle. He's Jewish said to me, you're paying for what your uh, relatives done, the Germans. She was inferring, I am Margaret Ann Windsor, uh, Victoria II, my father is Edward VIII, who uh, wasn't married to Wallace Simpson. Uh, that's a double. They used doubles back then. And uh, this is my dad, married Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. This is my Uncle George, sorry, stock with Roosevelt in 39, the year I was born, helping take his own brother down and me. There was an addendum, and it was all legal. I'm Victoria the second heir to the British crown, or throne, whatever you want to say. That's me. Um, 99 years still put on it. Now that I want to read this, if I can, or at least um, it's up here, and I... Uh, where they just won't take my rent. Is there nothing wrong with me later? I haven't committed a crime, but they would come in and use supplies. This last time I was there, the girl came in and uh, even took the vacuum cleaner and would smack the furniture and almost get me, and it was unreal. But what they were putting in there, um, but while sympathetic, this is lies. They just wouldn't take my rent money. But here's what she said, which is illegal. While sympathetic to your situation, we're under strict legal regulations from the government. OSHA? My God! Uh, they're supposed to take care of you um, if you've got an immune disorder, not kill you with it and use chemicals that they wouldn't use on a horse, and that's what they've done. So on that date, they just wouldn't take my rent, and I had to leave Debbie McKay. By the way, before she, uh, before I left, it was because she didn't want, she pulled it up on the computer. Her daughter had just uh, graduated from high school. It was at her uh, 
homecoming or something. And she said to me, I don't want my daughter to end up like Alexis 